So, a few days ago, these guys got sponsored by Nexon to play Counter-Strike Nexon Studio. While well, some of you guys were ended enjoying this game, have you ever thinking about choosing best weapons in this game? You guys think that it's gonna be Balrog series? No. Janus series? No. Madam Drill? No! Then, what is the best weapon in this game? Well, those best weapons will be answered in this video. But make sure that you bring any of these secondary weapon and male weapon paired with power up and critical parts to make them stronger. So here are the top 10 FTP weapons in Car Strike Nexon Studio. But before we move on to the first weapon on this list, make sure you subscribe to this channel and don't forget to hit the bell so you won't miss my upcoming video. Number 10, Ignite 10. Ignite 10 is a unique grenade that resembles fidget spinner. This is also the first ever grenade that allows you to use a weapon parts on it, which you could also stack it up with your secondary and male weapon. But sadly, I don't have the permanent version of this weapon, which makes me can't even show this weapon with some weapon parts. You can get the Ignite 10 from the unique decor, but remember, you have to watch your step because Ignite 10 can instantly kill you if you throw it on the short range. Number 9, Lesser Reaper. Lesser Reaper is the transcendence equipment. It looks kinda similar to original Reaper but even better. The main difference between Lesser Reaper and original Reaper is one of their skill, which Lesser Reaper had it, unlike the original one. The special skill was called Lesser Cutter, which can be used by holding the right mouse button and it will consume your ammo once you throw the Lesser Cutter. You can get the Lesser Reaper from the Epic Fragment Shop for 1260 fragments, which only exists when a new Epic Weapon got released. Number 8, Hunter Killer X-12 Hunter Killer X-12 is a unique shotgun. This weapon already exists since 2018 and some people say that this weapon was pretty weak on these days because it got over by the newest transcendence weapon. But you can really underestimate Hunter Killer X-12 thanks to the tactical scanning skill, you can easily kill lots of zombies because the tactical scanning allows you to use the auto aim as you can see here. Just put some gun boost 6 with some critical and power upgrade 6 for a pistol and male weapon, you can easily get some kills with this weapon. To get Hunter Killer X12, you can get it through the 5th day of the mission chain or you can just buy it through the mulch auction. Number 7, Hunter Killer X90 Hunter Killer X90 is a unique SMG that came from the Hunter Killer series just like the Hunter Killer X12. This weapon resembled P90 and this weapon was really useful for both zombie bot and zombie scenario. With Gun Boost 6 and Vampiric 6, you will become unstoppable even when using the tactical scanning. But the main cons of this weapon was the reload time and the ammo consumption, which you can easily run out of ammo when using this weapon, and they force you to find some supply box in order to refill the ammo. To get Hunter Killer X90, you need to complete the first day of the mission chain and it also appears in the mileage auction just like Hunter Killer X12. Number 6, x Tracker. x Tracker is a transcendence assault rifle that has been released since 2019. This weapon was based on FNF2000 and this is the first ever weapon with the RGB muzzle flash. Although x Tracker looks like a normal weapon, this weapon actually looks pretty stronger than you think if you could use the special skill by pressing the right mouse button, it will enter the sniper mode, which allow you to lock some zombies before releasing it to unleash some missile. But sometimes you will miss the missile if you didn't fill up the target. To get x Tracker, you can get it either through Transcendence Decoder, Event Decoder, or Mileage Auction. Number 5, Miracle Prism Sword. Miracle Prism Sword is a unique male weapon. This is basically a combination of Great Nova and Blade Rune Breaker in terms of the attack animation. This magical sword can slow down some zombies if you use the special skill by holding the right mouse button. Just put Vampire 6 and Speed Up 6, you were invincible against almost anything thanks to your movement speed and lifesteal. If you got bored and wanted to farm something else in scenario mode, Prism Sword was your best friend. To get Miracle Prism Sword, 
you need to open some unique decoder or you can also find it through the March auction on the top 7 section. Number 4, Infinity Laser Fist Infinity Laser Fist is the Transcendence SMG that actually became the last Transcendence weapon ever in Counter-Strike Online Indonesia before it was closed. If you think that this weapon is Infinity, you're actually right if you use this weapon on Zombie Scenario. In terms of its name, Infinity Laser Fist was not like Thanos Infinity Gauntlet, more like Iron Man Repulsor. Once you use the Repulsor, you can bounce away some zombies as you can see here. It's also useful on scenario mode if you want to smash some obstacles with it. Just keep shooting till the laser fist turn red and you can finally use the Repulsor. There is actually a better version of it called Eternity Laser Fist, but it has a higher damage but harder to obtain. That's why I choose Infinity Laser Fist because it was cheaper and you can get it on Mileage Auction or if you're lucky enough, you can get it through the Even Decoder and Transcendence Decoder. Number 3, Electron V. Now, we've just reached the top 3. Let's start with Electron V. This weapon was originally exclusive for Counter-Strike Online China Anniversary. But 3 months later, it finally appears on Counter-Strike Nexon Studio. This weapon was based off AN94, but it was modified with some electricity which completely changed the cartridge instead of using 5.45mm. With Gun Boost Grade 6, you can easily kill some zombies with this thing if you could hold your right mouse button to charge the Electron Storm before blasting it to some zombies. You had to shoot the Electron V for like 5 times in order to gain the Electron Storm. Sadly, this weapon doesn't even exist in Mulch Auction, which forces you to use your unique decoder in order to get this weapon. Number 2, Ignite 7. Almost there, now we have Ignite 7, the modified version of Thin Man Machine Gun with Red Paint. This weapon has a split magazine and Ignite system to counter multiple zombies. With just pressing the right mouse button, you can easily kill a multiple zombies with it, just like Janu 7 or Stone Rival. But, you need to get a little bit closer to the zombies since the special attack doesn't have long range. Just put Gunboost 6 and Vampiric 6 to survive with this machine gun. To get Ignite 7, you gotta need to open the unique decoder because Ignite 7 haven't exist in Malich Auction. Number 1, Demolition Hammer. Finally, we've just reached the best F2P weapon ever, the one and only Demolition Hammer. You think that this weapon looks Bedouin, right? Well, you got it wrong, it's actually F2P. This hammer could bounce away some zombies while dealing a decent damage. It also has a special skill which you could summon the steel pole if you max up the gauge by just pressing the right mouse button to summon the steel pole. When you hit the steel pole with the left mouse button, you could instantly kill some zombies with it. This is why Demolition Hammer became the best F2P male weapon ever. But remember, it has a slow attack speed which you could easily get infected with it when you swing this hammer. To get Demolition Hammer, it has the same manhood just like Lesser Reaper through the Epic Fragment Shop for 1260 fragments. So what do you think about these weapons on the list? Do you have a better weapon that's supposed to appear on the list? Or do you think that my list was not accurate? Comment down below. Thank you for watching this video. If you wanna play with me, just simply add my Steam account or you can also join my Discord server or even show your support by clicking the link in the description. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.